Morning everybody. Here we are at the driveway of um, Pine Rivers Church in Watson Park again. And the reason I'm here this morning is I, I have a e meeting earlier this morning with or a, bit, a little bit later after this with, with Agnes uh, to talk about the uh, requirements we need for the for the working bee of the church as we uh, tidy the place up to uh, have it presentable so that uh, when we return uh, it's just uh, you know just nice to be in <clears throat> and it has been a long time since we've been been here it seems like eons that we've we've been away from from home um, but being able to gather and and praise and worship God in our own homes has been such a blessing. Um, it has given a chance for reflection and, and um, connectedness that we don't often see uh, in, our, in our church buildings um, because we're, we're on kind of on our game face for Sabbath. We're kind of, um, you know, we, there's an expectation of how we, we are to, to turn up and, and to be. And uh, often it's more... Um, you know, you can come to come to the, to a church, and go to a church and be hurting, and nobody notices. You can be lonely, and nobody notices. You can be a whole manner of things, and wondering why nobody notices. And I'm praying that when we do come back into our building, that we notice each other. That we that we notice. Um, that yes, we have missed each other. We've noticed, but we notice when each other is hurting. That we notice when each other is struggling. That we notice. That we just notice. And there's a, a beautiful psalm, and David wrote a lot of his psalms in the depths of his despair, when things weren't going um, particularly well. And when things weren't uh, all the best. And in Psalm 34, he starts it this way. I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. I will boast on the Lord. Let all who are helpless take heart. Come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all of my fears. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy, no shadow of shame will darken their faces. He goes on to say, In my depression I prayed, and the Lord listened. He saved me from my troubles. For the angel of the Lord is a guard. He surrounds me and defends me, defends all who fear him. Taste and see that the Lord is good. O oh, the joys of those who take refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his godly people. For those who fear him will have all they need. Even strong lions sometimes go hungry, but those who trust in the Lord will lack for nothing. Come, my children, listen to me, and I will teach you to fear the Lord. Does anyone want to live a life that is long and prosperous? Then keep your tongue from speaking evil and your lips from telling lies. Turn away from evil, do good, search for peace and work to maintain it. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. His ears are open to the cries for help. But the Lord turns his face from those who do evil, and he will erase their memory from the earth. The Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. The righteous person may face many troubles, but the Lord comes to rescue each time. For the Lord protects the bones of the righteous. Not one of them is broken. Calamity will surely overtake the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. But the Lord will redeem those who serve him. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. Isn't that an amazing promise? But as long as we take our refuge in the Lord, not in, not in a building, not in a place, but a, take our refuge in him, we're safe. We're redeemed we're full of joy this morning I pray that wherever you are that you find a place to be safe in the Lord and understand that he has redeemed you and while yes we wait for our doors to open and we wait for 
what we think will return to normal. I just pray that you find him and that you know that you are much loved by him and that you are safe with him. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you for this beautiful morning. We thank you for the sun on our faces. We thank you for the rain that will come this weekend, Lord. And we thank you most of all that you love us so much that we are safe with you. Lord, I just pray that as we prepare ourselves to gather back into a building, may we be preparing ourselves to gather together with each other and with you, Lord. I just pray that whatever we turn our hand to today, Lord, may it bless you and may it please you. May we be a blessing to others as you have blessed us. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, as I walk into the glaring sun as it comes over the trees, I, pray, I do pray that you have a great day. Um, and on a footnote on the side, for all of those that could help, could you please contact Agnes? There will be a working bee here at the church next Sunday so that we can have it ready to go and that um, we can find much joy in the Lord. Take care and God bless.